Welcome, welcome everybody. I am Dr. Renee Sunday. Welcome Periscope. We're just making sure everything's okay. Uh, let me know where you're from. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You'll see me very shortly. All right, all right. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, Tamara, Sandra. Hi, John. Why? And please invite your friends and family. We have a serious talk we need to talk about right now. It's uh, you've seen all over the social media about this hot water challenge our children are doing. Uh, so please invite any mothers, fathers, godparents, uh, any. Uh, people that have children in their lives, if they have a business and they have children, if they actually is a teacher or paraprofessional, if they in ministry, if they are pastor or, or intercessor, this is something serious that we need to talk about in this session. And I would not keep you long, but we need to talk about this hot water challenge that these our kids are doing. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a, a PSA, if you want to call it that. I am Dr. Renee Sunday. I am a board certified anesthesiologist for 18 years. And this is a serious matter that needs to get out. We share everything else. We need to share something that's going to help our kids that they not participate, do not partake in this hot water challenge. So welcome in. Let me know where you're from. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tracy. Hey, everybody, share this with your friends and family because this is very important. This is very paramount. This is what we need to yell from the mountaintop to help our children not, N-O-T, not partake in this hot water challenge. Hey, Tracy, mm-hmm, so we're going to give you just a few, no, no, okay, you coming on in? Okay, amen, amen, please share this with your friends and family. Hey, Periscope, how you doing? Um, we're going to talk about this. If you haven't heard, um, a lot of the children all over the world are participating in this hot water challenge. Uh, some of them are putting water in the microwave, some people are boiling the water on the stove. Some people are getting it from this nozzle. Some people have that immediately hot water comes out. But they are throwing hot water on their friends as a challenge, as a prank, as something that they see that's going on on social media. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm here as a physician, as someone that cares, as a godparent, as an auntie, as someone that cares about our kids, we want to bring awareness. We want to bring education. We want to actually let you know to advise your children of what not to participate in because it's going on. And the parents have no idea where these kids got the information. You know they got it on this social media. They got it from their friends. They got it from someone talking about it. So I want to just let you know, the boiling temperature, you know, when we throw stuff on our skin, you know, even if you um, have hot water from coffee, hot water from in the sink, hot water from, a, from the sink, you know, your first immediate response is to pull back. The body, the brain signals of the temperature gauges in your brain, that's too hot. But what is too hot? You know, if you get something really over, you know, 120 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, uh, you know, really 100, and, you know, if we have it on our skin in one second, 155 degrees Fahrenheit, I mean, you can have third degree burns. And I'm going to say this. Let me jump back and I'll tell you the different lay degrees of burn. A hundred and uh, let me see what my notes say. 140 degrees in three seconds. You can have three degree burn. 130 degrees Fahrenheit in one second. But Dr. Sunday, what is that burn thing you talking about? Okay. First degree burn is when you actually just, you know, the skin, you know, just the top layer, you know, what we call the epa, meaning above dermis. Skin, right? Second degree, when you get that top layer and getting that second layer, the dermis. So epidermis and the dermis, 
second degree burn. Now we get way on down there and we, we see our muscles, our skin. We can see our bones. Third degree burn. You know, um, I live here in the hot ATL. You know, we have a trauma one center. And when I say trauma one is if somebody have a bad accident, car accident, house on fire, uh, uh, that they need to go to the emergency room. Usually a, a bad car accident. Let me see which one did I may have missed. Oh, the, the uh, 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 terrorist attack. Da 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 da. They tend to go to a level one trauma center. Now, Dr. Sunday, tell us about that because you know about that being an anesthesia. Trauma one here in Atlanta, Grady Hospital. Y'all heard about it. Um, I train in Tampa General in Tampa. That's uh, we all know maybe about. Uh, Oh, I can't think of the one in Philadelphia that's associated with Temple, but you got the point is you would know because they have a busy emergency room. What they do is they tend to have a surgeon that stays in the hospital all 24 hours. They tend 10, I'm supposed to everybody have their own guidelines. They tend to have an anesthesiologist like myself there 24 hours. They tend to have uh, a radiologist. There, uh, even when you go to OB, the OBGYN is close, close, close. A neonatologist, someone takes care of the babies when they really sick. Close, close, close. And all of the staff from the nursing, the radiology tech, the, the anesthesia tech, uh, I don't want to miss it by the transportation in the hospital. Let me see. I don't want to miss any. But all the ancillary staff we need in the hospital, you see that in a level one trauma center. The emergency room is busy all the time. I mean, really, truly. Um, I had the also, uh, opportunity as being when I did my critical care fellowship, I worked in the burn unit. Um, uh, I think it was about six months. We was in there six months. I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of things, but the point I'm doing this broadcast is to let us know that our kids do not need to participate in this hot water challenge. Go back to, I said, 120 degrees. If you notice our wonderful places, we get coffee, what they have on the bottom label there. Be careful. Material liquid is hot. Because you can burn your skin. So what is happening in this water challenge, parents? The kids are throwing this water on their face, on their bodies of somebody as a prank. People are dying from that because of the burns. People are dying. Their face are disheveled because of the third degree burns. Yes. And we need to be mindful and talk to our children and say, do not participate in all these challenges. The hot water challenge. They got some, uh, they jumping in hot, uh, cold ice and all that kind of stuff. Talk to our children. Our children are beautiful and wonderfully made. They are curious, but they actually, they want to listen to us when we tell them something that's going to hurt them, going to harm them. You know, I love laughing. I'm, I'm a big proponent of laughing, you know. I love to laugh, but these challenges are serious. People are dying from that. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Also, when I worked in the, uh, being an anesthesiologist, if, if the, you know, the third degree burns is, is they graft them. They take, usually they take, you know, they could take the graft from an area that wasn't exposed to the burn. They even have donations and stuff like that from, uh, when people donate their bodies after they have passed away. Uh, they have a lot of ingenious things that the different creams they put on it. But, you know, it's painful. I remember the patient being very, a lot of pain. They have to have surgery. Some of the patients have to have surgery every day. And they call on anesthesia, people providers like myself, to provide anesthesia. So we need to let our kids know that this hot water challenge, this ice challenge, these Challenges that we see on the different platforms, they're not safe. They're not safe. You see what I'm saying? Hot water, actually, it, it'll take their skin away. If you've seen any of the videos on social media, that's not what a child needs to experience. No one. Child needs to be educated and mature. They need to actually enjoy life. So we need to bring this awareness to our kids. To not participate in the hot water challenge. You hear me? 
If you have any questions, jot them down and put them in the inbox and let me know if you have any questions. But please share this with your friends, your family, anyone that have exposure to children, that this is not something they need to participate in. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you, please educate your children to not to participate in the hot water channel. What challenge I want you to participate in is saying that affirmations that you're beautiful and wonderfully made, that you actually are amazing, that you are a, a loving, say great affirmations. That's a good challenge to participate in, to say that I'm going to achieve all my goals and dreams in life, to say that you are, you know, you're a conqueror, that you can do whatever you put your mind to. That's what kind of challenge. And, you know, we're working on some challenges in my brand and we'll share that with you. You know, you can live your best life. You hear everybody saying that, but you can really do that. The other things that I do, you know, I'm in the marketplace. I am a, a the platform builder. I help people identify their purpose if they're not aware. And then I help them build a platform to be seen, be heard, and get paid. I am a media coach. I'm a business coach. I'm a life coach. I'm actually a, a grief counselor. My brands are up under the umbrella of Renee Sunday Enterprises. Okay, so we have a lot of brands up under that. Uh, our website for that is ReneeSunday.com. Now, for this broadcast, we're coming to you as Dr. Renee Sunday, the anesthesiologist, the godmother, the auntie, the one that loves kids and want kids to, to live their best life. We want the kids to have a long life and so they can walk out their goals, dreams, and purpose in life. I actually have a free gift for you over on my DrReneeMD.com. It's 11 ways. Somebody say 11. 11 easy ways that you can actually live a healthier life. Now, I go deep in it. I tell you things that you may, oop, oh, I got to stop. It hit me before I could actually it hit you. I had to watch what I eat. I had to drink more water. I had to exercise. I had to actually put on my phone so I know how many walks I do, how many steps. You see what I'm saying? We have to be accountable. Our kids see us doing the right thing. They're going to do the right thing as well. Now, I want to stop a minute. If anybody have any questions, will this uh, I, this uh, broadcast will be up. It won't disappear. We're going to put it up on YouTube so you can actually share it there. But we want to let you know to tell your kids, tell anyone, adults as well, do not participate in the hot water, hot water challenge. Do not participate in the hot water challenge. Do not do that. Okay. And I'm going I'm to pause just a minute. If you have any questions, uh, you know, about that or uh, any uh, really health questions, I can answer that. But let me put that in there for your free gift, your free gift, your free PDF. It'll be a download to your phone or to your your laptop or whatever is www mm -hmm, dr renee md.com uh-huh so your free gift will be over there that you can get your free gift about 11 ways you can easily better your life <laughs> well either way but well, i thank you guys for coming on share this the kids they are precious in our sight but help them and and, and encourage them not to participate in the hot water challenge. I endorse this and I am Dr. Renee Sunday. I am one of the top 100 anesthesiologists in America. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in, but do not participate in the hot water challenge. Bye-bye.